Okay, so make a shape 3D, change it to a cube, and make it 0.25. This just makes things smaller and easier to manage. Um, also, just you know, start viewing it and go right click on camera, then choose left. It just makes things a lot easier. And now what you want to do is, well, you're basically done with the shape 3D, so you don't you don't have to worry about that anymore. Make a duplicate 3D node off of that. Make the just increase the copies. Make the Z offset. I like doing negative, but you can do positive. Um, make it negative 0 0.5. Send so it's like this, and it's basically spacing them all out by like the grid space. Yeah, and then unlock this thing right here. Pair these two to each other, and then make this. I mean, you can kind of make it however you want. I like doing five just because it's just kind of like better and then change this to linear because if you have it accumulated it's exponential and if you make it linear it's you know it's linear and yeah that's basically it all you need to know and if you want to take a look at it in 3d go back to perspective and you can see that it, it is in 3d all right so moving on to the next shape what you want to do is copy and paste this so you have the same exact shit in here and viewing this original shape but now what you want to do is you want to offset this shape so I'm just gonna make this easier to see make change the color and merge it over so we're gonna merge this over and you can see how like they're merged on top of each other so it's not good change the offset to negative point or the negative 25 this thing negative 0.25 and it moves it back by exactly one and then in duplicate actually you know in here go back to the shape 3d um, you have to unlock the scale and do the link X and Y and then make this scale three. So you can see how it's going one, three, five, that type of thing. And the duplicate 3D, um, we have it on linear, but now what we have is three being scaled by five, which you don't want. And, you know, since you wanna have it go one, three, five, seven, you have to find out the ratio or the scale from five to seven. So you really just go to like, you know, do the math, seven divided by three, it's this number. So then you just copy and paste the number in the duplicate in this scale for the duplicate 3D, the one in the top for the secondary shape. Paste that in, and then wow, look at that. It's um, alternated. So then you can go back into perspective, and you can see that it's a 3D shape. And now you can add a camera. And now what you want to do for this camera, this is what I like to do. Change it to orthographic. Do I guess you can turn the scale down, but you can do that later. Just make the scale 0.1 and just make it go pretty far back and then do a renderer and then it kind of just looks like that and so yeah you can see it just looks straight on everything's evenly spaced out if you want to get the twist move this and do a bender node change the axis to z make this twist center one and then you can uh, twist the stuff. But first you have to group the objects unless you want to have it look like that. Um, you can group the objects and then you can twist it and then it looks kind of cool. Um, and you can see how there's this weird edge effect. If you don't want that, go to the shape 3D and change the Z scale to zero on both of them. Just so you can get rid of that and just keep it like that. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, some other things that you can do is if you want to have like some different options for how stuff twists you can add another bender node change it to the z-axis do the center shit again but you can change it to like bend taper twist or shear and you can get some like you know different effects and shit that like kind of like look different you know um and that's basically it you know you can just use it for you use the original bender node the first one to get the twist and then you can use some other ones to like make it look nice and change the order and experiment. But in general, yeah, that's how you do it.